open your mind. Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. So I've been off here for a few days. I had a very, very long weekend. I did security for a, a powwow about 24 hours this weekend on top of my normal week long gig. So needless to say, yesterday I just kicked back, relaxed, hung out with the wife and kids and uh, didn't really get a lot done. So um, I don't know about you guys. I wouldn't say I'm guilty of idolizing people, but you know, growing up in the, the age that I have, uh, movies and music and things were a big part of my life and they still are to a degree um, but I, I think I was guilty of putting people up on pedestals some of these celebrities actors musicians things like that and the more things become revealed and the older I get and the more I, I see things for what they're worth I'm starting to see a pattern here of none of these people really are down to earth none of these people really care about me or you there are a few out there that uh, sway conservative and have good Christian values and things like that. But whether how legit it is or them just trying to clear their conscience and uh, I don't know. But, um, you know, recently there's been the Sound of Freedom movie come out. And at first I honestly want to see it, but the more uh, things I see coming out about it, I really have no interest. And, you know, it honestly shouldn't have took up to now for people to see a movie pay a few bucks and shed a tear to really realize there's a problem with that sort of thing anyways with the kiddos you know, and i have to speak i have to be careful with what i say on here about that or this video will just get taken down but it's really sad i think that there had to be a movie come out for people to realize hey maybe there's a problem with this i mean i've known there's a problem with this for quite some time and having two young girls it's always in the back of my mind, honestly. And then now, of course, with the, the fires in Maui, you have people like Oprah and The Rock that recently come out. I don't know if you guys have seen this video or not, but uh, donating $10 million and asking people for donations to help these people in Maui. And even though it may seem like a, a decent gesture, I mean, if you think about it, you know, between the two of them, they're worth nearly $3 billion. $10 million is nothing. If they split it evenly, you're talking about Oprah gave 0.2 of her net worth, something like that. It's, it's nothing, it's a drop in the bucket. And that seems to be the big issue. And I'm not a person for handouts by no means. I don't want anybody to come to the rescue and save me. But these are the issues in the world that we really have with these disasters, starvation, people living on the street, all these things are, are serious issues nowadays. And it seems like people that would be capable of doing something like Oprah and The Rock and different people neglect to. And even though they might donate $10 million and it seems like a great thing, rest assured, I'm sure that's a tax write-off for them as well. And they're, they're honestly just trying to save face. You know, I grew up, my grandmother loved Oprah. She used to watch her all the time and Seemed like a great lady, seemed like she was always doing stuff for other people, but as time goes on, a lot of these big wigs, these billionaires, these multimillionaires, things start to come to light and you really realize everything they do is just to save face. It's just to give the illusion that they care just so they can put another billion in their bank account. So you're on your own people. It's obvious the government's not gonna help us and we've gotta stop putting all these celebrities and people up on a pedestal because they're not on the winning team, I can tell you that right now. And even though you might like the beat of a song or you might like a certain movie and an actor that's in it, I think that's the problem is a lot of people can relate to these actors and actresses, roles they play continuously in their career. And they think they have this illusion that that's how that person's personality really is. That's really that person. And I'm here to tell you, they're just playing a role. They're just playing a role and I, I find it kind of amusing, honestly, that recently they're going on strike over the whole AI thing because they're afraid they might lose their jobs. So maybe for a moment, 
they're actually at our level and realize what it might be like to uh, lose a job and not be able to make ends meet. Not that they would have that issue. I'm sure they have plenty of money for that. But we've got to quit idolizing these people. We've got to stop putting these people up on a pedestal. Think more things are coming to light. And honestly, in my opinion, the Sound of Freedom movie was just a weak attempt. Yeah, it may have woke a few people up to the actual issues and problems. But till they actually start coming out with lists of all these scumbags, these celebrities and politicians and billionaires, and, and telling it how it really is, till we actually see that, it's nothing. It's merely an attempt to sell a movie ticket. And whether you cry about it or not, honestly, they probably don't care. So we gotta start looking out for each other. We gotta stop holding these people up because the politicians, the musicians, the actors and actresses, they're not here to help. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Later.